How's the king fellas? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of Yakuza 0 and in today's episode we're going to not do the cabaret club. No wait, this is a hostess club. But what I do want to check out, so I, I have not been playing in between because what I noticed is that I wanted to, I booted up the game right and I was going to just keep doing this so I could farm like a shit ton of money. But then what I realized is that I, I want to just check something really quickly. Then I, what I realized is that my girls that work at my club, they don't get like unhappy. See if I boot up the screen right now. You'll see that... Uh, absence is no way. Prepare to open. See, they're all kind of unsatisfied. Like for example, uh, host's list. See their stats? They're like kind of lowered. Like this girl is... You can see that some of the bar is red. Not her. Her stats are like l really fucking lowered. So I, f I don't know how to make them happy again. Like do I just send them home? Do I give them a day off or something like that? I don't understand really what I do. Wait, that mother name is Dolly? That's weird. Aranda. Yeah, I remember that. but. I don't think those are the real names, actually. Alright, what I wanted to do is... What do I fucking check that? I cannot do a rival battle, by the way. Open for business, prepare to open. Special training, cast and duty. What do I check? Cast and duty, maybe I'll check that. That's not it. Makeover, I can only make over one girl. It's Yuki. Special training can also do just this. Where was that one option I, I'm looking for? I'm looking for that option where you can check the map. Cl a club status, I think. Yeah, there you go. So, Mars area. I, you can see that I don't have four areas yet. And I'm just kind of curious as to where these areas even are, which I see that this area ends over there and kind of there so it's like this street and those two and that one alleyway okay so I will just I just want to buy the rest of those properties I'm gonna buy the rest of those properties and we're gonna follow the story a little bit we were running around the city two episodes ago and I have not run into a single side quest except for one I guess but that didn't really count because it was a new side quest it was just an old one I simply haven't done before, so... See, it would be handy if these places were marked on the map. But they're not marked on the map, so I kinda have to run around and... ...bump into every goddamn door I see and hope for the love of God that I'll run into something that will... ...actually be... ...actually be purchasable. At least the positive thing is that I do have a lot of money, so I don't think I'll... ...have a problem with that. And there are some gentlemen who are willing to lend me some money. They know things are tight right now and their favorite club cannot go out of business so they're here to support me. What a nice bunch of people. I finished Far Cry 5 yesterday and I picked the ending where you go away just because I thought I'm gonna check out this ending. And it didn't let me like replay the game and do the other ending. But I thought at the other ending I'm gonna do when I'm gonna be making a let's play out of it. Why not, right? And I thought it was kinda weird with that ending because it was... I feel like the game implied that when they turn on the radio... Oh shit, is that Mr. Shakedown? It is him! Leave me alone, Mr. Shakedown. I just want to fucking buy business properties. I got like no money to fucking give to you. That's all I need to invest in my club. That'd be like the worst fucking thing to happen right now. Mr. Shakedown showing up all of a sudden and just fucking me up. That's Odyssey. That's a nice club. They helped me out a little bit. We have a rivalry, I guess, with Odyssey when it comes to Grand. But I guess they don't really care about my host cl club. Oh, hello. What's this? Hmm, is this phone ringing? See, I always fucking make fun of this trope because 
I don't think you can call a phone booth. You can call from a phone booth, but can you call a fucking phone booth? Maybe if you do something very specific, but... Like, I don't think there's just some number you can call and then you, you can just call a phone fucking booth. And also, is it gonna be Mr. X from Vice City telling me to assassinate some people? Looks like it's that payphone. Well, I'm gonna admit I did not expect a payphone all of a sudden to become important. Talk to the payphone. Why a payphone ringing? Should I pick up? Answer the phone. What if I was rushing here just to save the game and all of a sudden this shit would happen? This phone's really bugging me. Might as well answer it. Yeah, it really is bugging me. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. Oh, hello. You answered it last. Huh? This guy sounds awfully creepy. Ch chirpy, sorry. This is a public phone. Sure you got the right number? <laughs> yes, it's you I wanted to speak with. Who the hell are you? And what do you want with me? Well, I'm probably gonna fucking have to assassinate someone. Who I am though? I think we've done the same kind of quest in Yakuza Kiwami for Kiryu. Haven't we? There was like a quest where some guy would like run into Kiryu. No, it was like a quest where Kiryu runs into like a dead guy in an alley. And then he picks up his phone and he starts getting messages on it. Which is kind of creepy. Who am I doesn't matter. I don't know who you are either. Huh? The hell? You just said you wanted to talk to me. I didn't have to be... It didn't have to be you. Anyone who picked up the phone would have been fine. I don't think so. Dep I mean, depends on what you want to do. Why are there VHS tapes and a fucking TV outside like that? But in the end, you were the one who answered. That's that fate, I tell you. No doubt about it. Huh? Listen, man, they have telephone clubs that, for that kind of thing. I ain't in the mood to get sweet talked here. Oh, are you rejecting me already? At least hear me out first. No funny business, or I'm hanging right the hell up. <laughs> I want you to play a game with me. This sounds like funny business. Uh. No, it's probably gonna be creepy and terrible business. Listen to this music, Majima. The rules are simple, just bring me the item I ask for, what do you say? First thing I'm gonna say is, what's in it for me? Page 413 on the phone book. Huh? The phone book under the phone, open it up. 420, 415, there we go. Hey, check it out, money. It's not a lot of money, to be honest. Whoa. If you win the game, I'll pay an even bigger reward. How about it? Still think there's nothing in it for you? Are you in a Are you in the habit of leaving that much cash in a fan in a phone book anyone can thumb through? You're a real nutter. <laughs> I like that. I'll play your game. <laughs> and that that's it, Majima, you fucking like insane people. Really great, I appreciate yeah. it. That saves me the trouble of the detonating the bomb I planted in the phone booth in case you turned me down. <laughs> the hell where? <laughs> Probably not where he just wants to fucking scare you. I had time on my hands, so I installed a bomb in the phone handset. One press of this button and kaboom. <laughs> you gotta be bluffing. Can you say that with certainty? It doesn't matter if you believe me or not, I don't need to trigger it anymore. <laughs> you crazy fuck. Well, what is it you want me to. you want me to get for this game of yours? For starters, how about you bring me a 9mm automatic pistol? 9mm auto, a goddamn gun? What the hell are you gonna do with that? No, I wouldn't concern yourself with that. I need what I need it yeah. for. I'm only interested in seeing if you can procure one. I think I have one already. I'm running around with a shotgun, actually. Which I don't fucking use, because guns in this game are kind of fucking useless. I ain't a fan of getting put in the test, but I can score that for you, no problem. The cash ready. It will be once I get a 9mm automatic pistol. Bring it back to the paper. <laughs> Good luck. I do have it. Do I? Let me see. I. I don't. I have a revolver. Shit. Where on earth do I buy weapons? Where do I buy weapon? I think the Chinese restaurant guy will have it. What's this? Another side quest? Ah! That's Mr. Libido! I forgot about him. 
like I said, I have not fucking played this game in a long time. Have you not uh, run into him already? Why does it... Mm. Why the quest seems like it's something new? I knew it! What are you talking about? <laughs> I could tell you were birds of a feather, you and me. What the fuck does that mean? Not likely, I ain't half as starved for a lady's attention as you, pal. <laughs> What were you shulking around here for then? Just shake hands with ham cucumber? Or is it the five knuckle sh shiffle still to come? Huh? What the fuck are you saying? Give me a freaking break. Come on, let's be honest, hmm? <sighs> well, I was. Uh, yeah, I was actually scoping out the competition. Hmm? The competition? Huh. I actually, Mr. Libido, I run a club with cute girls. Come there and spend all your money, please. Yeah, I got this nickname, the Lord of the Night. Gotta check out the service at all sorts of places, even if it means dropping my own mm. coin. Hmm, if you say so. How about you? What are you doing here, then? <laughs> I, had the g I heard the guy in the video for a girl I had my eye on a while, so I raced down here to check it out. Got your ear on the ground, though. Uh. I can't wait any longer, I've got to see it now. At least he's wearing shoes. Hey, the streets are no place for getting your freak on. <laughs> Damn it, man, what's with all this moaning? Whew, now that's what I call image training. Okay, time for another round. Are you good to go again? I'm pretty sure you ain't normal. How do you even get that kind of strain power? You want to know the secret? I'll let you in on it. It's no good. I can't wait any longer. I need to slam this salmon real bad. Be seeing you. Look, I don't want to go there and watch pornography, but wonder if I'll run into this fucking weird motherfucker again. <sighs> Kinda hoping I don't. Can I go here? He went in. Can I just go after him? Not really. I don't wanna watch any videos. Wasn't in Yakuza Kiwami there like it was an encounter where you go to a porn booth to watch a video and then all of a sudden Majima shows up with you. Uh, there you go, one of them. Got more fans. It's another building, I wish they were marked, for example. What color isn't used on the map? Blue, purple, yellow, orange. How about red? Red or green? They, cou they could have used both these colors for some places I can buy. Maybe red could have been something different, I don't know. Maybe on this alleyway. Haven't checked here, I think. Have you guys. So, I think over the weekend there was an event called DC Fandom. And what happened is they re released a bunch of trailers. First of all, new Batman looks fucking awesome. At least the trailer looks fucking awesome. You know, like I remember people complaining about the new Batmobile. I thought the new Batmobile looks fucking awesome. Even in the trailer, it looks fucking cool as fuck. Batman's back to being fucking badass. Unless the, unlike the fucking Justice League versus Superman Batman, which was just fucking lame. At least I thought it was lame. Now I don't care about this. Fuck off. Put yourself into a fucking issue. You fucking with all it. Screw you. So, so, yeah, it looks awesome. I would love to see it. Don't know when it comes out, but I'm definitely gonna look forward to it. This one's kind of expensive. And. Another thing, oh maybe I can partner up with these places? No, okay. Another trailer that came out was for... Massage place, that's an expensive place, holy shit. It's a fee. Hmm. So, another trailer that came out was for... Suicide Squad vs Justice, kills the Justice League. Or versus the Justice League, I don't remember what it's exactly called. But my my thoughts were, this looks like that fucking new Marvel of Avenger game that came out 
which I've seen footage of people playing. And I'll be honest with you, that game looks like shit. It looks so fucking generic. It looks like they did not hit a fucking plan to make some awesome Avengers game. They just fucking need to make one. Like, it's not a game they made because they had a fucking grand idea for it. They made it because they just fucking had to. That was the Hong <laughs> Hanging Power Rangers just fucking... You got any more moves to teach me? Not training. I think I had this already. Now I'll leave, I guess. Monkey people. Just fucking... Ugly as fuck you guys are. And... And yeah, that game, that game, at least the trailer was kind of f funny, I like Captain Boomerang in the trailer, he was cool. But, no, 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 I hope it's the, not just another fucking game like that, you know, I really hate how fucking th these games are advertised, like, oh, it's a co-op game, like, fuck off with this stupid bullshit co-op motherfucking garbage, I don't got any fucking other people to play games with me. If I wanted to play fucking co-op, I would play some... F I don't know what I would play, a Streets of Rage or something. But I just wanna fucking play these goddamn games all my own. I don't wanna fucking play it with co-op. I think this uh, part of the streets is also what I can invest in, so... I'm gonna run around here. Check if any of the buildings will trigger anything. Hopefully I won't run into Mr. Shakedown, cause he's fucking annoying. And I think we ran out of uh, places to check. How many places did I buy? I bought three, so I still have one more place to buy. I bet it's so more obvious and I just forgot to check it. So let's go this way. Yeah, and another game they shown... I don't think... I, I, don't, I, never, I haven't seen a trailer for it, but they shown something like that. And this one is called... Oh, Mr. Libia is over here. This one is called... Uh, What's it called again? Gotham Knights. It looks kind of exactly like that, except it's, it's in Gotham and it's instead of Suicide Squad, it's it's a uh, Robin, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Batgirl. I thought it was a good weekend to be a DC fan. Did you get anything fun to say? Nice, whatever. Have fun drinking whatever you're drinking out on the street. Do whatever the fuck. Wait, where am I going exactly? I'm going to kick ass, that's it. Men in black, I'm in black too. Except I don't call myself men in black. Yeah, and both of these games are kind of. It seemed exactly the same. So with the Suicide Squad game, it takes place in Metropolis, which is cool. I feel like maybe they've made it in Metropolis because supposedly... Oh, by the way, this um, Suicide Squad game is actually a new Rocksteady game. So Rocksteady games are pretty good. So I wouldn't... That's why I kind of have high hopes for that. Well, the Avengers games, like, who the fuck made the Avengers game? It was published by Square Enix. But who the fuck made it? Some dumbass. One case made it. So, um, look, this is the place where I buy weapons, right? So I gotta buy a pistol. You don't say nothing. I don't care about the sword. Talking to him doesn't do anything. Can I buy guns? Uh, buy equipment. They only got like one thing. Oh no, wait, they got more. They got knives. Uh, what about pistols? Nine millimeters. Modified model gun. Man, 
And they don't even have a fucking pistol. Maybe I can search for a gun? Western Europe. Yeah, sure. Soccer Stadium. Not Plitano family, this does not sound fucking Eastern European. Who are these people? Traveling entertainer. Ex Mafia. Sexy swingler. A pilot. What the fuck are these pictures? I'm gonna pick this guy. Have, I don't know, money with you. Look, I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't really care. Maybe I'll come back one day by accident and I'll get something good. Okay, great. So I cannot buy pistols like I thought I can. I can buy a pistol, but not the one I need. Or could I possibly get a 9mm automatic pistol? Majima was like, that's easy to get, who who cares? Well, where do we fucking get one, Majima, you fucking dumbass? These guys are back, really? Well, it seems like those are the same people I just fucking did. I just murdered. I always do this fucking hand spin. Just what I always do, I don't know. Nine hundred thousand. Yeah, and the other game they have shown is made by Warner Brothers Montreal, I believe. Which I don't know if they're kinda shit at making games, I hope they're not. Actually, the Gotham Knights thing I don't really care about, but the Suicide Squad thing does kind of seem cool. And another thing they've shown is a new Suicide Squad movie. So enough of the original one, I guess now you can call it the original one. Was called Suicide Squad? Well, this one is called The Suicide Squad. It's like they didn't even call it Suicide Squad 2 or anything, it's just The Suicide Squad. And it's kind of funny that there's like two new Suicide Squad things going on. Are they supposed to be like a movie tie-in? Like, are they gonna come out at the same time, or like one week from each other? So it's like, you go watch the movie, next week you can buy the game and play it. I haven't been to this club in like a fucked up long time, I don't even remember what it looked like. A short, ragged Chinese man? Who the hell is it then? Follow him. At least with this game, there's a button for following people. Cause like, when I was playing Far Cry, I was like, how the fuck is this such like modern game? They still fucking do the thing where NPCs have such a problem going to some place. And there's some quests where you have to follow NPCs. You know, but it ends up with you fucking... Having to like run, stop, and then just wait for them to catch up. It's just the worst fucking thing. If I had beaten Far Cry 5 and then I started playing uh, Witcher 3 again. Because I bought the Game of the Year edition, so I have all the DLCs and all this cool stuff. I don't remember this guy. I have no idea who he is. I will cover that. For a manager of a successful goddamn club, I'm really fucking poor. I guess all the money this club makes, I go give to Sagawa. He's an asshole. Who is this guy? Hmm. 
No, for real, don't remember who is this. No, you're part of my yoke, So, do you don't know? No, so, what has he this on old sky the kitayo? This on a marico you miss a day, cow salas to good night. The car of what has he? This is the guy who was at the Majong parlor. Did I beat him up or something? リーの電話ないや。ああ。あなた、これからすぐ店抜けられるか。なあ。なんでお店出たらあなた自分の家に向かう。支配人さんの家、ここから遠い。いや。総天堀沿いや。ああ、こっちごね。リーさん、あなた
come on, destroy him. Half of my health. Damn, I got 5 million for it though. Doing these story related fights is pretty good. I'm made out of stars. Shit. Alright, it's fucking Sagawa again. What is he everywhere? Saga everywhere? Smith system? As apparently Sagawa is part of the Army Alliance and not Dojo clan. And yet, he's supposedly brothers with Shimano, who is Dojo clan, so what the fuck? It's like what they split or something? And then Majima is part of Tojo clan too, at least he was. And he got kicked out and now he works for Romy Alliance? And thank fucking god there isn't like another fucking different family of Yakuza in this game, because that would get really complicated. Yomi Alliance is kind of like, like the bad guys. Like they're not really bad, but they're usually like not really supportive well no one really is in this game so it's like everybody wants you fucking dead but it's i kind of what i was trying to say is i kind of wish there was like a Yakuza game where you play as some dude in the omi alliance and maybe you get a little bit more insight on the omi alliance maybe you play in a completely new environment instead of playing in fucking kamuchiro again for the hundredth fucking time あんたに相談するくらいやったら電柱にでもしとく。He's not mad about me that I'm, you know, I haven't assassinated and the girl I was supposed to assassinate. I got a message. Where's my um pager? Six five eight hundred ten and twenty nine dragon tiger equipment. Ah, oh, this is bullshit. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot already. What you want for me? What about the investment fund? Fuck off. <clears throat> Can you like fucking leave me alone? Some bullshit, I don't wanna fucking listen to this garbage. You think progressing a little bit in the story like made some kind of side quest show up? I guess these guys aren't si side quests, sorry. Bumping shoulders into people just to make sure if they're side quests or not. Eh, you are side quest? A side quest, you little fuck. Guess not. A lot of DC stuff. Like, there was some other stuff. Some more like animated movies announced, but I don't really cared about that too much. Who, what's going on? Hey, look, he's dressed like Sai Seijiwa will be. For some reason. Why am I calling him Bear? ガムシャラにやらなあかん仕事やることや。ヤクザから逃げ切らなわしらどこまでも終わりやん。ガムシャラにやらなあかん仕事やることや。ヤクザから逃げ切らなわしらどこまでも終わりやん。ガムシャラ
蒼天堀から出ることを許されとらん連中が監視しとるのは俺をこの町に閉じ込めとくためこの町全体がお前の檻っちゅうことか Pretty much せやどういうこっちゃ俺はもともと東京のヤクザそれが上に噛みついて下手打った大阪で買われとる今かていつ殺されてもおかしないなるほどアクロスクーズシマナまあ誰でも他人に縁裏は持っとるもんやけどせやったらここじゃゆっくり話せんな場所変えよまことのおるとこで落ち合うで一応誰にもつけられんようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるようにエールートをしてくれるよ Some generic, oh, his love interest died, so he went insane. Well, of course, he went insane. I'm, would won't go insane if his love interest died, and that'll be the reason for him to go insane. そしたらほぐし会館の隠し戸使えばええんやなせやそこを抜けたらあとはまっすぐまことんとこ行けあらのめんおりファイドリーエスえなそうウィリングコーポレートウィッミーシャネなまあ like I think well not yesterday in the story but I try to kill him and now we're friends Well, I guess I kind of saved Makoto, and now I, instead of trying to kill her, have her well-being on my mind, which I did try to kill her again at the end of Majima's first chapter. First off, I gotta try to figure out what he's been out whether I'm being watched. Time to play it cool, like it's just strolling around and try to suss out what they're watching from. Okay. Also. Isn't it kind of weird that you know? Check it out. There's some guy watching me. No, walk right the fuck up to him. That guy, he suck. I was watchdog. See him all over. Might caught me talking to Lee. I'd uh, I'd go around and try to keep a low profile. Son of a bitch. All those fucking assholes. Another watch guy. I ain't going that way. These watch guys are kind of fucking easy to spot, apparently. Hello, rich douchebag. Another fucking asshole came out of the alleyway. You can a little bit move forward when you're doing this. Just like an inch forward. But still, you might get him just. just about. So that's. that's good enough for me. Where are we going? Where are we going? Doing the main quest. What is sound? Can I buy this place? No. I was supposed to walk in through the back door. Looks like more of Sagawa's clowns. Guess the bastard got everywhere I might want to go on lockdown. Yeah, of course. Or he'll think that I'm kind of fucking weird for talking to myself. Which I never done before. Bookshelf block in the door. There's a secret path inside the massage parlor. It's over here. Son of a bitch really hit a secret passage. If 
I got a big house, I would get a secret passage. I would get a secret passage to like underground tunnel and I would have like a secret passage to the sewers and then to like fucking out of my house. Actually, what the fuck would I have it for? Never thought something like this was here yesterday, even if I was being followed before I'm clear now. Now to haul ass to where the girl is. Are you sure? Just go on this way. Aren't there like watch people literally everywhere? Also, here's my club. Right outside of it. Oh no, investment! Hello, investor. No venue, I don't know what that means. Oh shit, that's like a death drop kick. I broke this guy's skull. And there's something on the ground here. You see it? You see it? Can I pick it up? What could it be? What's oh, a hot girl? Awesome. Gotta drink one of my uh, super energy drinks. Monster 44 or whatever. I actually forgot I was reviewing monster energy drinks in this stupid let's play. What's up there? So you guys are the gatekeepers. Like a little bit of a gate here. Is it on purpose? Like, you know, like, there's only three people that showed up, but then I started fighting and all of a sudden there was like four of them. I think it's on purpose, just to, so you know, you got more people to fight. Shouldn't have picked up a fight with me, but you did anyway. Of course you did. You always do and you always fucking end up the same. You know what, maybe before we go and do that, we're going to, um... <laughs> I wanted to finish... Nah, oh, fuck. Is there like some other safe spot I can use? There's one over there, I think. Please let me go this way, fuck. You gotta be fucking joking, there's no safe spot I can use? Well, there was inside sunshine. I'm gonna go there. I'm afraid. I think if I'm going to get my code, I'm gonna trigger some kind of plot sequence, and I'm going to get, do like a lot of fucking story-related bullshit. I'm going back to the club. I can't go into the. C <sighs> Fuck. Okay, let's get my code away, I guess. This episode might end up being long, but who gives a shit since they don't let me fucking do it short? Nobody cares. This way I probably can't go either, right? I guess they gave up. Just fucking rushed into me and they were like, Oh, wait, I don't think we're gonna win. Good, nobody's looking if I'm going in. Now's the time. Well, I ain't got no better time. What are you looking at? I'm sorry it took me so long, but I've been busy running a club and having fun while you were stuck here. How nice of them. Maybe it's a. Uh... I don't fucking know. Look, it's a bunch of pictures. And they're all pictures of. Do you could... Of who? Of Makoto? Who <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? Maybe he's a pervert. Oh, I remember. I remember what's his plan.
ありがとうリーさんお前の分もあるでいい Leaf's plan is kind of fucking weird if I'm being honest. Like, I feel like he could have come up with something better. That's cool. けどこのゲド女のええとこは年頃とせかっこうやなまことによう似とるそれがどないした Yeah, here's his plan He wants me to kill that girl <笑> She just straight up fucking poisoned her? What is wrong with you? よう聞く薬やでほんまリッお前何をこっから先はこの子に聞かせる話とちゃうんでな。Yeah, we're just about to say when she gets freaked out that we're gonna go and kill people now? お前も殺し屋にしちゃ鈍いな。その写真の女はな。まことの身代わりや。Say we're gonna kill her and pose as a double for Makoto when Makoto gets out of town. 殺しの依頼したとき。その依頼主は何が欲しい的を殺したっちゅう結果やせや結果や殺した結果っちゅうのは死体死体があればやっと意味しかなかったとしてせやからその写真の女には誠の身代わりにしたいんだと思うそう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、Won't they, like, even if they will think that this was Makoto, won't they get suspicious that all of a sudden this other girl is missing, too? Like, both of them died? What? No, one of them died and the other one went missing, apparently. And boom! Yeah, exactly. Which girl of fate job? Me and Makoto? I don't know who the fuck is Lee, but his plan is really convoluted and ridiculous. We're gonna literally just fucking make Makoto disappear. I guess he's a gangster too. Okay, here we go. Also, one thing I wanted to point out is that Lee, with his bald hair, short hair, he looks like how Seijima looks when he shaves himself later. Because when he comes back in Yakuza 3, he has long hair. But then I think in Yakuza 5 already, he has short hair. Definitely had short hair in Yakuza 6. I don't remember when exactly he shaves himself, but. I personally think long hair Seijima looked way fucking cooler than uh, this Seijima. Seijima definitely had the badass moment where he's going to some fucking place with all bunch of revolvers around him. One in his mouth. Pretty Korean Mafia. Korean Mafia was like a really important part of Kiwami 2. See, Kiwami 2 is the kind of game that you. Yakuza 0 or 1 or Kiwami are like the best entry points to see the Yakuza series. Because if you're just going to play Yakuza Kiwami 2, for example, you would not know what the fuck is going on half the time because there's like a lot of. It takes place like a one year after the previous one and. 
The events of the previous games are like really important to the story of this one. Which I do appreciate that this is one consistent story in the Yakuza series. Because for example in like GTA games, right, it's always like its own separate story with each installment. Except for like maybe Ballad of Gaetoni and Lost in Dan, but those were like DLCs to GTA 4. So they were kind of like intertwined with the story of the base game, which I really fucking like. But they were intertwined, they weren't just their own thing. It wasn't like in this game where it's like Majima and Curious Story and they never meet. Like the protagonists of in GTA 4, they do meet. Especially Nico and uh, Johnny, they do meet a lot. I think Tony. Is his name Tony? No, Lewis. Lewis. Lewis was the only one who didn't run into. I mean, he did run into the other protagonists, but he was never on their side. Like every time he run into them, he tried to kill them. Which Lewis, I think, is one of the best GTA protagonists, and he's probably the one of the most underrated ones. Just like Victor Vance, Tony Cipriani, the really underrated GTA protagonist Claude. Besides like Tommy, CJ, Nico, fucking everyone from Five. Yeah, what was I saying before I paused? I forgot. One thing Lee kind of sucks at is that he does not wear as cool fucking pants as Seijima. Seijima was walking around in these camouflage cargo pants with like big boots. He looked pretty fucking badass. See, I kind of understand how Lee is upset because that's like the only idea he has. But that doesn't mean that this idea is all that great. Oh, you wanna say that I'm gonna lose another one? That sucks. What is that thing in his arm? I really do feel like someone who designed these characters really got them like that jacket. You know, like I look at the jacket and I don't just, I just think that some jacket, and then be the guy who designed them, but he like really got them like it. Will I join you? そしたら黒に染まったもんの流儀教えたるわ。どの道はしの計画知ったからには生きてここからだぞあげには以外。I guess Makoto ain't gonna leave alive too. Wait, do I really have to fight him again? Come on. Jeez, I'm wrecking this shit. Has more health than last time. I didn't thought we were gonna fight a boss fight in today's episode. But it was just gonna be a simple episode where we do a bunch of non fucking important shit. Well, the game wouldn't let me save. But who cares if I'm end up with a long episode? I still have two more to make. Lee, just die, come on, I don't care I'm repeating the same fucking thing over and over. I really don't. Oh crap, quick time is in. Ouch, my arm. It's a cool fucking move, I gotta say. I'll break my whole arm. It's like, I'm not sure what it is, is a friendly little fight we were having. Or is this actually a fight for the death because he does not want me to leave because he revealed his plan to me and now I want to bail on him. 
That's how it is in Yakuza, you know, you wreck shit and then like, when the boss is like, near non-health. Those are some really good drugs because like, put us sleeping. I wonder which variation of my combo is the best one. This one maybe? Spinning on my head? I feel like this one's the easiest to make. No, not the one. The one where you spin on your hands. When you're doing a handstand. Doing a handstand, spin it around like a fucking moron. Don't leave us. I really kind of feel bad for Lee, to be honest. それより前にお前もやられるで。なんでそれがわからんねや。それやったらそれで。like, I don't think we go through with this plan. With the body double. I don't think we do that. Like, but. That's a weird philosophy in life. That was a photograph, it wasn't just a piece of paper. Ah, whatever, Machima can fucking do all bunch of insane shit. Oh no, I remember this. The fact that he took this back home later. I don't remember what it did, but... There was something about that. I feel bad for the like all he wants to do is just keep Makoto safe. And now I don't even fucking care to help him. Like his plan is insane, but he's like really desperate, he does not have a better one. And you know, sometimes the most insane plans are the best ones. What am I doing? Smoking. I'm depressed. Hey, that was in the intro, I remember that. Got ashes on my pants. Sitting all alone, sad, no one even cares to come by. They're all scared of me, and I got one eye. Fucking scary. What if Majima would take off his eye badge, reveal his other eye is fine? Well, we know it's not, but it would be funny, kind of. Like, just one time. See, this comes back important. I don't remember how, but it does. Ah, uh, this guy, I remember him, he's cool. But the fact that he took this fucking bag, this is really stupid, man. Like, really? He took his bag, he took Lee's bag away from him. Threw it to the trash, and that comes back later in the story to be really fucking important. It makes three days. Didn't wind up changing much, if anything, things worse now than before. Jigs up as soon as Sago finds out I'm keeping the girl alive, can't risk heading out to the storehouse now. Better play it cool and head to the ground like normal. Play it cool, play it cool. He never told me that Makoro would be some girl. Again, the re- oh, I can't even- Can I fucking save the game for once? All I wanna do is just save the goddamn game so I can finish this fucking episode. There's like a safe spot around here. There's one on the other side of the street. And those assholes will fucking leave me alone. Here we are, assholes left me alone. I'm going to save the episode. Finish the episode here. See you fellas in the next episode, bye. God damn it. So, I walk up to the goddamn phone booth and this fucking asshole showed up. Hello, oh hi, how's it going? Yeah, thanks for ca calling me right away. Calling the future. What's this chunky ass bag he's slinging? 
It's a remote phone. You wanted to hear about my shoulder bag phone, huh? No? That's not what you're calling about? Uh oh, uh oh, okay, sorry. Bag phone? Is that bag actually working as a phone? That's some shit, ain't it? That's some fancy shit for 86 or whatever the fuck this game's taking place. Actually, that's not really. Didn't they already had remote phones back then? Just they were like really fucking huge. Alright, I get it. Well, if you ever want to hear about it, you know how to call. Okay, bye. I feel like they did. Maybe it was... I don't fucking know. Man, why doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of back phones? Don't they know how much I had to beg for this thing? Good. He's like a fucking guy who... Fucking does CrossFit, studies law, and he's a vegan. Has to tell everyone about it. Hey, buddy, were you just chatting on that phone through that chunky bag you got there? Pardon? Yes, exactly, yes. I was talking using this. Oh, he's so happy to finally fucking have someone ask about it. That's pretty wild. Is this some kind of radio then? Oh, no, not at all. It's a real phone. It's called a bag phone. A bag phone? Who puts a phone in a bag? Oh, really? You don't even know. This is all the rage now. It's a fully trans transportable mobile telephone made possible through state-of-the-art technology. From now on, people will be able to carry telephones with them all the time. You'll be able to contact with anyone, anytime and anywhere. A mobile telephone, eh? Crazy. Well, what's the point of carrying a phone with you all the time? Ah, you're not seeing the bigger picture. With this bag, bad boy, you're not chained to your home or office. You could even turn a cafe into your workplace. You could be in touch with your friends and family all the time. It could call up my mom right now if I wanted. Uh, sure. I guess I could see the use of that. I knew you'd see the light. Doesn't <laughs> it make you want one? You should be... You should head to the store and get it right at the wave of the future. And get it to ride the wave of the future. Yeah. yeah, right. I'm guessing that thing costs you an arm and a leg. Right in the future always comes with a tax. Actually, yeah, it's more expensive than I should even say. <sighs> Figured as much. I don't see the need. I'll stick to the pay phones of the rest of the pe peasants. And my pager, which is also remote. Hmm, but weren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yes, I was, and I was about to finish the fucking episode, you fucking asshole. I was about to make a safe, you know? So I see, <laughs> Very well, I shall let you use the cutting edge of technology, my back phone, to place your call. Wow, you sure about that? I wasn't even gonna call anyone. <clears throat> Certainly, I want everyone to experience the future today. You need to understand just what a back phone represents. Aren't they generous? A back phone, huh? I saying it's state of the art. Do I really want to see what's all about? Sure. <laughs> sure, let's see what the future holds. <laughs> Alright, I know you're excited, but the future is right here, hanging off my shoulder. Here you go. You're about to get a taste of tomorrow. Don't mind if I do. Shh. What am I calling? Eh? What happened? Who did I call? I ain't hearing anything. <laughs> Really? Can I see it for a sec? <laughs> Broke it. Oh no, there's no signal. Oh crap. It's broken. That's right. Oh man, the battery must have died. I probably used it all when I took that call from my buddy. The battery's dead. Mm. Yeah, the thing is about the, f about the future is that it really sucks with the life. That it really sucks the life out of today's batteries. Does it? Well, how long it takes to recharge? Mm. A mere... 8 hours. Yeah, that long? You only had the one conversation earlier and that's all it takes to run it down to empty? That's the price you fair... That's the price you paid for being on the... Vanguard of the time. There's always been that way. Technology's beauty is it's fleeting, blah blah blah. Fuck off. Sounds like more of a hustle than it's worth. Well, seeing as much of you marvel of technology gone silent, I guess I'll have to pass on your offer, thanks. <laughs> oh no, 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 wait. Let's not be hasty. Now what? 
You can't just give up on your chance to cross the frontier of progress. Just because it's out of power doesn't mean we can't get it back. You just told me it took it takes eight hours. I ain't got that kind of time, kid. I'll be able to tap my message out in Morgue Scope before that thing comes back. Well, it just so happens. This thing can also use regular batteries to make calls. Mm. So, could you go buy me batteries? I think whatever Don could show it? Why is it? Huh? Name after that. Quixote, I think it's. Don Quixote. But now I gotta run you errands? Don't be upset. For the price of a couple batteries, you can. You could be getting in touch with the future. Hmm. I do gotta admit that I'm curious. I, I fucking hate I couldn't even, like, reject and just fucking leave him alone. I'm sure you're a busy man, so I'll wait right here for you. Take your time. He didn't even show it up. Like, in next to the phone booth. Like, literally, when I pressed save on the phone booth, he just started talking. By the way, my name is the Bullshit. I promise you can use my back phone as long as you come back with a battery. Alright, I'm Majima. I'll be back when I can. I guess fuck off. Fucking leave me alone, you piece of shit. Now look, there's a thing on the ground. But I can't even explore the city right now, because I'm busy doing a main quest, you moron. How am I supposed to buy you fucking batteries? F fucking bullshit.